Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steven Detweiler, and this is Walk and Talk. I normally do this on Sundays, but I am blessed that I was invited to go shooting with uh, Robbie and Henson tomorrow, and uh, which is great. They got some new guns, so maybe I'll get some video of the new guns and uh, post that with this uh, for next week. It, because you'll be getting this a week after I uh, record this. Um, we will be it'll be after Yom Kippur the day of atonement if you want to if you want like a 12 page uh, study on the day of atonement and what atonement means um, go to my Facebook page and I put the notes up there and you can read those and see what that's all about it is nice and quiet there is something going on way over yonder but nothing in terms of the ball fields. And it is, it's later on in the afternoon. It's like, it's like 2.30 or something like that. I didn't realize how late, I took, I t I w I, man, I got a lot of things done and I took a nap and I didn't realize I took like a two and a half hour nap. That's just more like, there's our starting point. That's just more like sleeping than napping and, uh, so it took me a minute to wake up, and then I was just like, kind of. I, I watch westerns on Saturdays, uh, you know, on uh, Me TV, on Me TV, and it's it's actually pretty nice out, man. You can actually smell the different woods, and. Uh, so I like that when I had my when I had my uh, lawn business and stuff. I loved lawn, my lawn business. I used to love doing that. Um, and I love the the smell of the different woods, different plants, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so I was watching. I do uh, every Saturday. I catch some of the you know everything from uh, what is it Paladin. Uh, I think it's Have Gun Will Travel, um, Rawhide. Actually, Rawhide was on when I left and uh yeah, some bonanza uh, what what else is on uh big valley i'll catch that and see some of these run into my regular nap time but i got things done so early today i took an early nap but almost ended up getting up the same time i normally get up for from nap time so that didn't quite work out the way i planned but that's okay um so i really didn't have nothing planned for this in terms, I didn't think I was going to do a walk and talk uh, today, but I figured, well, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to be, that way I don't have to like be all sweaty tomorrow and run from here all the way to shoot point blank. Uh, not shoot point blank. I uh, shoot smart and rush in there and stuff. I can go there nice and relaxed after church and, and shoot stuff. You want to be relaxed. You want to be relaxed after church and shoot stuff. And uh, so that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Uh, Robbie got a, I think Henson has one, but Robbie got a brand new uh, 22 caliber uh, uh, Henry lever action. And Henry is uh, phenomenal in quality in terms of that. So I'm looking forward to shooting that, shooting the uh, the Henry. He bought a Savage and Stevens uh, pump shotgun. I've actually never shot a pump shotgun. Um, I've never heard of Savage and Stevens. I don't know. I don't know the quality. But you know what? I'm gonna get to shoot a pump action shotgun. So there you go pump action shotgun and get some experience with that and uh, and that's cool now you always want to get more experience on more things and also you know that uh, shotgun is something I have to add to my collection because that's part of your defense that's one of your defensive weapons uh, that you always got to have and let me see we're over here at the stopping point not a lot of water not a lot of water do you have a favorite do you have a favorite gun we might go down another trail 
and see where that leads us out to. Why don't we do that today? Uh, do you have a favorite gun? Uh, now I'm going to shoot my uh, my sidearm, which is a, a Springfield Hellcat. Uh, I have to still zero in. I got to make sure that my red dot is zeroed in. And uh, I, learning to use a red dot is a little weird for me, but I have it. It works. I just need to work with it. So I'll probably be making some adjustments with that. I'm going to probably run uh, probably 50 to 100 rounds through it. Hopefully, if they the guys share 50 to 100 rounds with me, um, I have enough uh, rounds at the house just for uh, defense. I don't have a, an abundance of, of ammo that way. Um, so, but they, those guys invited me out. They know my situation, so they're cool about that. So if I can get about 100 rounds through there, make sure that I'm on with the, and make my adjustments with the, the red dot, that'll be cool. Um, I really need to ha really need to do that. Uh, those, uh, I forgot like, uh, yeah, there's all those, uh, I guess they're, I guess they're all hatching. I guess they're all hatching. They're all hatching. A lot of them have been hatching, I guess because the things are the leaves are eaten up and the pods are gone so there's still a couple of them hanging from the trees them little uh, uh green uh inchworm thingies and uh i need to walk for the exercise too i'm just like i'm just like lolly i'm just like like sauntering i'm sauntering i've just been sauntering <laughs> i don't know if you get good exercise when you're sauntering but I've got got to walk, you know, get the exercise like I do on Sundays. And uh, so, uh, so, yeah, shooting, man. Uh, Hanson said he's got a new, was it a three? Is a 300 blackout? Uh, or another 308? Uh, I want to get a 308 uh, pistol uh, with pistol grip and all that. Um, I think there was a called Velocity that Springfield makes. Henson has it, and they discontinued it. It was only about a thousand dollars. And uh, now I still got a lot of catching up to do in terms of 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 bills. Uh, but I know God's going to help me be debt free. And uh, so I'm not saying I'm going to go out and just spend a thousand. Now my brother's helping me out to go to see my mom for her birthday at the end of this month all my vacation time was taken up uh this year in the beginning of the year with the uh with the covid and you know i still i'm still like uh i'm still like two grand in the hole from the beginning of the year no 23 plus three no plus two that's 25 I just got another bill from emergency care uh, for 186 bucks, and they're legit. I looked at the bill, and I guess I was like, "Yeah, I guess that's legit." Uh, so now that puts me back up. So I'm still sitting about three grand, and uh, I need some help on that uh, with the Biden inflation and everything else. Uh, uh, you know. Rent going up 156 bucks. Uh, food is, is, gosh, man, you walk in there. My food budget a month, used to, for a month was 300 bucks. My food budget for the month now, buying the same items, is over 400, 425 dollars. Um, that's buying the same things, you know. So, even though uh through the dumping of uh through the dumping of uh oil from our strategic oil supply and selling our oil to our enemy china um and that's not fact checkers that's just what happened uh we are not um uh we're not adversaries but they are they, they are a, an enemy um they're a communist enemy and that's the truth um we do have commerce with them and that's also the truth 
but you don't sell your strategic oil supply to somebody that is causing aggression around the world causing aggression towards Taiwan you can't say they're not causing aggression towards Taiwan because they are uh, that's just that's just that I, I'm just re, I, that's just re, that's just reporting uh, but with all this stuff going on uh, so I've been working on it I've been chewing it down uh, being able to just you know you know what what really stinks about that is because I was like okay I had all my finances worked out and I said you know what I, I can buy I can buy a couple decent uh, uh, Christmas gifts for myself you know I hadn't really bought anything and one is this is, is this camera I bought this camera because I really wanted to do I just really wanted to do YouTube I wanted to do this there's something that's on my heart to do and you know, if 10 people watch it, 50 people watch it, uh, 80 people, 10,000 people, it's great. Um, I want you to correspond with me in comments. What are you guys, what's on your mind? Uh, you know, tell me what's on your mind. And uh, I'll address those in future walking talks. And, uh, you know, it's just like what's on my mind now. Gosh, I was, uh, I I'm not really in a political mode right now. Um, like I said, the, the biggest thing about the Day of Atonement is celebrating being at one with God. That's what it's about. That's the celebration for all of eternity. It's, it's not the Jews' most holy day. It's, the Word says that the Day of Atonement is God's most holy day evermore. And we're celebrating, in that word, if you look at the 1828 Webster's Dictionary, atonement or atone is a simple compound word that means at one. So, for those that would say that atonement isn't a New Testament word because it just means to cover, well, at one means a whole lot more than to cover. And... Did we become at one with God in the shed blood of Jesus Christ? The answer is yes. So there's the end of that controversy. Uh, this week at work, you know, I drive. I, I drive. I, uh, I deliver auto parts. And uh, we got some very good guys. I'm going to make sure I put their advertisement. Um, so that's a half a mile. Uh, I'm actually working up a sweat and it's only like 83 84 degrees, but it's a beautiful Sun man. There is absolutely not a cloud in the sky. This is literally I Pulled into Texas at this time uh, 24 years ago and this Is the exact same type of sky that was going on and it was quite I felt the serenity and I, you know what I, you know what I did? I said to myself, I said, self, I felt it when I crossed the border to Texas. When I crossed the border to Texas, and maybe you have, maybe you have had this feeling too when you made it to a particular place, uh, or a home, or buying a home, or whatever. When I crossed the border into Texas, I, I was, I had this peace, and. It just touched my heart, and I just knew. I said, I'm home. This is where I belong. And, and I, you know, have I had my struggles here? I've, yeah, I've started a lot of things, and I've lost a lot of things. Uh, but the one thing about the Day of Atonement and honoring the Day of Atonement, one of the blessings and promises in honoring the Day of Atonement is restoration. Uh, double another one uh, financial increase the increase of, of your uh, of your land of your properties of your life um, there's there's seven blessings I could read them to you but they're in that dissertation I have on my Facebook and uh, that would uh, be very good reading for someone who wants to know and uh, so I believe God 
I'm honoring God. Um, and the thing is about being in Christ, and you'll see that, that being in the king, the anointed king, in his king's anointing, that we, this is a special time of the year that we celebrate, we, visit, we purposely say, I am celebrating with you, Father God, as an assembly in unity, because all these feasts are about assembly and unity of being at one, of oneness, coming together uh, to the throne room with God. You know, he's at the head of the table. It's like, it's like coming together on Thanksgiving, the whole family comes together at Thanksgiving, and you got the grandfather, whoever is the, the patriarch of the family, and they're at the head of the table, and there's the gathering at Thanksgiving. Well, that's what these feasts are. It's the gathering. And the father is at the head of the table, and he's enjoying his family. Um, you want the the religious leaders have made it such a separation from God when actual fact that these feasts are celebrations that bring us together and closer relationship with God. And so keep that in mind as uh, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement, starts uh, Monday evening and ends Tuesday evening. So on the 5th, which is the number of grace, uh, this year is the Day of Atonement. Now, see, the devil tries to wreck things, but God has, has grace and mercy. My heart was to use certain days of vacation to take off on these particular uh, feast days and uh, but that's okay you know what that's what I said you know God's so good his blood is so good he knows my heart he says I'm looking upon the heart and my heart is to honor him on his special day the day that he says is special to him look if God says that's his most holy day evermore why are people arguing with that you're arguing with God if God says, this is my special day, um, then uh, make it your special day, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I like simplicity in the word. I like simplicity in the kingdom. And the simplicity is in the, in the kingdom is honor what God honors, God will honor you. The simplicity in the, in the kingdom is hear the voice of God, do what you hear. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Do what the Lord says. There you go. That is the simplicity. That is the simplicity of the Word of God. And uh, there you have it. So this week, man, there's just, I've actually been in peace. Gosh, man. You cannot be a delivery driver. You cannot be a delivery driver on these roads. Um, you cannot be a delivery driver on these roads. So I'm three quarters of a mile in. You cannot be a delivery driver on these roads and have road rage. You cannot allow yourself to have road rage. Uh, because let me tell you something the, you'll be raging all day your blood pressure will be will be off the charts all day you you won't be able to last um, in a job if you're allowing it to continue to aggravate you and frustrate you and get you to such a high level because let me tell you something at least four now three times this week i've had people just cut right into my lane where i've had to slam on my brakes honk my horn and say hey uh i'm i'm here you're trying to um take up the same space that i'm taking up this is not good uh, but i just say uh, now get i will say that i i do curse not angrily I just say 
stupid MNFers. Ah, you stupid MNFer. And I don't say MNFer. So I'm working on, <laughs> I'm working on getting my flesh to, to come up. But when I say that, that's stupid, stupid, stupid. You know, I'm just, I'm, I, I'm releasing, I'm releasing it and I'm not getting angry and I'm moving forward on my day to get my stuff delivered. And uh, people, please, 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 please stop using your cell phones in the car. If you don't have hands free, then don't, you, you're not that important. Your conversation is not that important. Your text convert, especially you texters, stop it. Just freaking stop it. You're doing 50 miles an hour on the highway, taking up a lane at, when the when the speed is 65 miles an hour. You're down a you're on a regular road doing 30 when it's 45, and you're just blocking traffic. And we finally get by you, and there you are in your own little world, and you're just on your phone texting. You're driving a five, 6,000 pound killing possible machine. I'm not gonna say, okay, you're driving, cause I got, I got censored for using that phrase. You're driving, I'll have to cut that up. I'm cutting out something. I'm, okay, you're driving, take three. You're driving a 6,000 pound vehicle that can cause an accident that could cause a mortality. So stop, drive the vehicle and save yourself and save others. Um, and then like today, I'll tell you, I think I did pretty good. I didn't, I didn't use one cuss word and that's good. And uh, today, now I'm not being, trust me, I'm not, when I say things about different observations of, of races, um, <laughs> dude, I'm not being racist. This is just strict observation. Middle-aged Asian ladies, they don't drive so good. Middle-aged Asian men, they don't drive so good. But today, even worse, coming here, middle-aged Asian lady with her phone in front of her face. And I was like, she's really not driving good. So to you, Asian ladies, let's do, me, do everybody a favor. Continue to uh, concentrate on your driving because you need to, because you don't drive that well in the first place. And two, do not use your phone while you're driving. You don't drive a good enough without your phone, let alone using your phone. So cut it out. Um, let me tell you something. I do give quarter to when I pass somebody that's going slow, when I pass somebody that's going slow, I do give quarter to an old person who's up on that wheel trying to see where they're going. You know if they had anybody in their life. Okay, I'm at a mile. I'm gonna do a mile and a half. I usually do a mile and a half, two miles at uh, uh, on Sundays. My body's like, my, my lower spine and my hips and my butt and everything kind of like freaking out because it's not used to doing this on Saturdays. So it's like, what are you doing? We don't do, we do, we do nothing on Saturdays. We don't exercise. We do nothing. We do nothing on Saturdays. What are you doing? Nothing. And I'm like, no, no. Well, we're changing that up this week. Oh man. Yeah. Body, you're just going to have to do it. Um, 
So yeah, uh, just have a little more respect while you're driving. There's, uh, let's put some, let's put some lawyers out of business. That's what I'd say. Let's put some lawyers out of business by not having so many car wrecks. You know, uh, let me tell you something. Let me, I'm going to tell you though, if you need auto mechanics, if you need auto mechanics, and I'm going to put, uh, uh, in the beginning, you're going to see an advertisement for uh, Mo and Ali. Uh, they call their business uh, Main Express Auto. It's in Arlington, but you say, oh man, I don't want to go to Arlington. But the location in Arlington is like, time-wise, time-wise, um, 15, maybe 20 minutes for almost anywhere that in this Metroplex. Um, 16 minutes from, from Euless, 20 minutes from Haltom City. Uh, you know, if, if you're looking for a good mechanic, uh, and a good shop that just honors you and, and prices things very, very fairly. Uh, hardly bumps up pricing on, on parts. Um, does a little bit, but not like most shops. He's always looking how to help people uh, while still trying to make sure he's making a living and his mechanics are making a living. That's Mo. You go and ask for Mo. And I'm going to put, let me, I'll just put that in there right now. Also, the little advertisement, because even though I say in Arlington and people don't want to drive to Arlington, it's in a really good location off of Davis on Main. It's right between uh, Division and Abrams, and it's far enough away from the ball fields, the sports centers, that you're not being troubled by that traffic. You're not being troubled by the traffic on uh, uh, Collins and Cooper and those. Uh, because you're over on Davis. And of course, uh, Fielder is also uh, not a lot of traffic. Green Oaks isn't a lot of traffic. And so when you come over there, you'll be able to make it there without experiencing a whole lot of traffic. And just use my name and Mo will treat you good. He's gonna treat you good anyway. But uh, just tell him that uh, Steve from uh, uh, Advance sent you, sent you. You can call him. The number is going to be up on the screen. And if you have anything, um, set a time with him. Tell him that I that you saw this on the YouTube, and uh, that 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 you have been highly highly recommended uh, to for them to take care of you. And uh, he will. He'll take care of you. I mean, I I. My, one of our other drivers was just there this past weekend. Took care of him, man. And, uh, you know, it's when you find something good in life and people that are good in life, we want to promote that. Uh, he's very good at what he does. And uh, uh, so um, I would just, and his brother-in-law, one of the best mechanics I've ever met in my life, and I've known a lot of mechanics. Um, pretty much Ali can, can evaluate, figure out, and do anything. Now, there's a little hitch in my giddy up starting, and in the name of Jesus, body, you are made to walk. You're made to run. Body, God made you, and God strengthens you. As my day is, so shall my strength be. In the name of Jesus, whatever's causing this problem that's, that's causing me pain, you have to go away. I bind you. You're not of God. So I don't receive you. I don't accept you. So leave now in Jesus' name. Amen. I had to take care of that. And uh, so those were the things on, on my mind uh, this week. Not a lot. You got the Biden stuff. You know, there's a lot of end time things going on. Uh, just trust God. Uh, be willing to take a stand and therefore stand. Uh, stand for Jesus Christ, number one. Uh, 
stand for our nation, the United States, based on the Constitution, the foundation of our nation, number two, and, uh, and just stand, man. God will be faithful, because God is faithful. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And like I put on a post not too long ago, it, you know, in Revelations, now Jesus says, I'm the end from the beginning. Okay, in the beginning from the end. So, in the beginning, the word says, in the beginning, God. And at the end of the book, the last chapter, the last thing he says, I'm coming. So, basically, put it in sentence structure, this is the Bible. I'm coming. God. I'm coming. God. Well, the rest of it, everything in between that is to give you insight that God is true, to receive Jesus Christ, to put the word first. It's all preparation for the time and season that we're in right now. Uh, no, was the church caught away um, this Rosh Hashanah? No, but the church will be caught away very soon. And we need to be prepared for that every day. Be prepared for that. Be looking. Have your lamps filled with oil. Oil. That's right. You know, there's not two syllables in the word oil. No, it's oil. And uh, you understand that. Uh, so, yeah. It's preparation. Be prepared. Be prepared. I'm looking at... I'm looking at... Do I want to... I don't want to bend down over there. Let me see if there's another path we can go take a look and see. Uh, I don't know, is that the... I think there's another path. I don't think there's another path. Or maybe I passed it. If I pass it, then we'll do it next week. But I want to go see what the, the creek looks like. The creek looks like... Let's see. You want to go see? Let's go see. Let's go see. See, my brother like this because he likes to go off the beaten path when he goes into the mountains. Let me see if I can make it there. Let me see. This has not been used for a while. I've made it to this point before, I think. Yeah. Let me see. You know what? I'm going to wear different clothes and a different shoes. Because I have to go down, around, and bend. And let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm, I'm seeing. Oh, look. There it is. All I have to do is bend over. All I have to do is bend over. There's pricklies. I don't want to get prickly. Ah, I'm prickly. It has pricklied me. Aha. Uh -huh. I persevered. I pressed through. I told you I was going to do this one day. See, there's apartments and stuff. I just wanted to... Uh, Is that a, a dropping? So, this is, this is, the creek that leads to the big creek. This might actually just be the big creek. It just opens up by the bridge over there. Huh, you tell me when we go for a walk and when it gets just a little more cooler, We'll go for the long walk around the uh, the whole place, and we'll see. But there is still water in the creek. Do you say creek or crick? In the crick. Uh, I just wanted to come down and see that. I just wanted to make a the adventure, the adventure through the woods. There's pricklies. There's pricklies. Yeah, yeah, I'm exploring, we're exploring, we are the explorers, 
Yeah, I, you went on the side. That was just you. That wasn't that wasn't me. I didn't fall down. And uh, so it looks like it looks like at one time this was very used, probably by a group of teenagers, for quite a long time. But maybe since all the teenagers now spend all their time inside gaming and losing their minds to maybe they find this offensive maybe they find cutting through woods and riding their bikes and hanging out with, with each other in the woods and and stuff must be offensive now can't have that because you know you know uh just can't have uh activity in the woods that was fun i enjoy i uh, I did, uh, whenever I go over to uh, uh, Eagle Mountain Lake, the park over there, it, uh, uh, I always go off the beaten path over there. And then I come out and people are stunned. But it's too crowded. It's too crowded there to do a walk and talk. Way too, way too crowded to do the walk and talk. Uh, but fun to go exploring. Um, and uh, as I continue to drop the weight, so we did a mile and a half. And uh, so that's the walk and talk today. Uh, what do you think about the things I said? I don't even know what I said. Just let me know. And uh, let me know what you want to talk about. Because uh, I'm sure I can talk about what you want to talk about. And... Uh, Yep, this is, this is it. This was, uh, so when you're seeing this, this was last week, this week. And uh, yeah, just talked about some things. Driving, Day of Atonement, God, don't use your cell phone, exploring the woods. There's our summation of today's walk and talk. <laughs> it's something, something. Let me know what you think and uh, I love you, God bless you, and I'll see you next time.